so a completely new experience for all of these Armagh players. Benny Tierney is the last line of defence, fronted by the McNulty brothers, Ender and Justin. Kieran McGinney secures the route to goal and plays in his 30th championship match with O'Rourke on his right and McCann on the left. It's Paul McGray and John Toll at centre field. Oshie McConville is now on the left wing, and the inside forward line has huge potential. Stephen McDonald joined by young Ronan Clark, and of course, Dearwood Marsden. There's a couple of factors that will shape the game, and maybe a, a, a better performance from Marsden than he has given up to now, in particular in the scoring stakes, would be necessary from Amara. Certainly, Stephen McDonald in the inside line needs more support than he's been getting. Well, Kerry, with 32 titles, are bolstered, of course, by the availability of Tomas O'Shea following his uh, suspension following the semi-final. As usual, much will depend on the form of Seamus Moynihan. Eamon Fitzmaurice is outside about number six. It's Dara O'Shea and Donald Daly in midfield. The half-forward line has been earning belated recognition, while the full-forward area has been earning all of the plaudits, and why not, with Russell, Okineda and Cooper shooting six goals and 60 points between them this year. Fantastic sc or scoring. It's the 115th. All-Ireland football final, the Bank of Ireland final. Once again, it's the attacking left half back. Loves to go forward, McCann. Will this one land between the posts? It will, and it's Stephen McDonald. First point then coming inside the first minute and a half. Good start by Armagh. In towards Darrow Kinada. Lovely turn, getting away there from Justin McNulty. Interesting tie up there. Brosnan. Let's it run away. Opportunities. Has it playing it back here to Mike Frank Russell, and that sails over the bar. The teams are level. Good, lively start by both teams. This is a decent run by the man who is the speed merchant of the forward line, Sean O'Sullivan himself, switching from the right wing to the left, inside towards Mike Frank Russell, feeding it back here. And it's a great ball over the bar. Russell is the one who kicks it. The pass coming back to him there from Cooper. And it's four points to three. Here's a chance. This is Tony McIntyre. John McIntyre, I should say. And John McIntyre gets his first point. Well showing no ill effects of the knock earlier on. That's a great score. We're seeing some wonderful long-range shooting in this match. Back it comes towards Mike Frank Russell. 45 metres off, it's Morris is coming into the breach here. Challenged by Marsden, but Marsden can do nothing about it. And he's kicked it over. The man from Finug. Very, very rarely scores in the championship. It's seven points to five. Everybody wants to take it forward. Cross towards Cooper, and somehow Darrow Kinnade managed to hold on to it. And finally, in the end, Colin Cooper drops it over the bar. It's his second point. Two shots of the target, two points. The Curry fans absolutely happy, and uh, the Armagh young man here, well, I'm sure he's full of hope still. 11 6. Barry O'Hagan calling for it. This is O'Hagan coming through. Been urged on. Is there a gap? Dermot Morrison, back to O'Hagan. Here's a chance of a goal. A real opportunity falling to Oshin McConville, and it's a penalty. McConville at the end of the movement there. Fouled. Fitzmaurice is furious, John Bannon nonplussed. He says it's a penalty. A minute to go to the end of this first half. Oshin McConville took it in. And you can see he was trying to burrow his way through, taken down, the referee has decided. On the other hand, Kerry defenders and fans will feel McConville may have been charging. Well, certainly was six of one, uh, one half a dozen of the other. I felt Oshie may have been, or certainly was charging in that case. But again, John Bannon saw it differently and he's the one that counts. Three penalties in all Ireland finals in the past for Armagh. And this one is missed. O'Hagan kicking it ahead. Late chance, perhaps, in this first half for Armagh, and they've taken it. And it is Dermot Marsden with his second point. This is a player of immense talent. Potentially, he's the best player on the Armagh team. He's made it 11 points to seven. That's a good score indeed that time. 
Jim at Marston. Three men against him. It releases Andrew McCann. How they could do with a goal like the one he got two years ago against the same opposition. Then it was a nice hot afternoon. It's quite cold and breezy now. This is inside towards McGrain. It comes back nicely. It's the first goal and it's scored by Oshin McConville. It brings the Armagh fans to life. They're back in it. Only a point separating the teams. 19 minutes into the second half, a vital break. Watch as McConville was on hand, taking a little pass there and crashing it past Declan O'Keefe. Fantastic piece of combined play that time and a wonderful finish inside the near post from Moshe McConville. Now the game hopefully will come to life. Wonderful piece of play. Lovely it's, little flick on. It's anybody's match again. Omar looking for the equaliser. Will they get it through Ronan Clark? Moynihan comes out. It's a good one and it's over the bar and the teams are level. The O'Rourke family very well represented in this Armagh panel. Dropped in neatly here. Once again it is Stephen McDonnell and he's put it over the bar. It's his third point. More significantly, Armagh lead the All-Ireland final. Tomas O'Shea feeding it in and good defensive play by Armagh. It's out to Kieran McGinney, the captain. It's all over. What a, what a result, sir. Fantastic result for Armagh. Oh, what a credit to them the way they applied themselves when everything seemed gone from them. A fantastic day for Armagh. They have won the Ireland. <laughs> Sam is going north once again. First time since 1994. The cup is going over the border. Kieran McGinney, the captain of the first ever Armagh team to win Sam. A delighted Kieran McGinney and a delightful day. Look at that scene. Just quite amazing.